Hey guys! Today we want to get acquainted with 10 of the best Dutch desserts, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. Number 10 Appel Flap A traditional sweet Dutch pastry known as Appel Flap consists of pastry dough that is filled with apples, raisins, sugar, and cinnamon. The dessert is traditionally covered with sugar granules on top. It can be found throughout the country in numerous bakeries or places where coffee and tea are served. The crispy appel flap is also often served for breakfast as a hot and tasty treat. Number 9. Tom Paus. Tom Paus is a traditional Dutch pastry consisting of a thin puff pastry that is filled with cream and topped with a layer of smooth, pink icing. The dessert is usually prepared in a rectangular shape. Around King's Day in Amsterdam, the icing is traditionally colored bright orange in order to represent true Dutch colors. Number 8. Oli Bol. Oli Bol is a traditional Dutch and Belgian snack that can be literally translated as oily ball. The dough, which is deep fried in hot oil, is made with flour, eggs, yeast, milk, and baking powder. The exterior is crunchy, while the interior is chewy and soft just like a true representative of comfort food at its best. Traditionally, the fritters are sprinkled with powdered sugar, while some varieties are filled with raisins or currants that were previously incorporated into the dough. Oli bolen are often prepared and consumed at numerous fairs, and they are especially popular during the Christmas and New Year period. In winter, these oily snacks can be bought at street stands throughout the Netherlands and Belgium. Number 7. Vlei Vlei is a sweet pie originating from the province of Limburg. It consists of a yeast pie base and a filling of creamy custard which is topped with streusel, a crumbly topping. The pie has a rich history, it was first consumed by Germanic tribes who used to drizzle the dough with fruit juice or honey, and later, it was used in monasteries as a special, sacrificial bread. Number 6. Space Cake Although there are claims that eating space cakes can lead to psychosis or psychosis symptoms for some people, there's still not enough conclusive scientific evidence to support them. Originating from Amsterdam, space cake is a notorious delicacy that belongs to a group of cannabis-infused edibles. Variations on this specialty abound, and any baked good that contains cannabis butter may be called a space cake. This Dutch specialty is usually prepared with typical cake ingredients such as flour, sugar, baking powder, butter, milk, and eggs, which are combined with a certain quantity of cannabis. Number 5. Panacoke. Panacoke is a variety of Dutch pancakes that are somewhere between American pancakes and crepes in terms of thickness, consisting of milk, flour, salt, and eggs. In the Netherlands, panekoken are usually eaten for dinner, lunch, or dessert, but rarely for breakfast. They are typically served with molasses syrup, stroop, sugar, apples, and cinnamon, but when made as a hearty lunch, some cooks like to add bacon and cheese to plain pancakes. Panekoken are also popular in Belgium and South Africa, where it is common to serve them with cinnamon sugar and a single lemon wedge. Number 4. Stroop Wafel. These delicious Dutch cookies consist of a very thin layer of syrup, sugar, butter, and cinnamon that is sandwiched between two thin wafers. Stroop wafels were invented in the late 18th century in the city of Gouda, and many sources give credit to a baker named Gerard Campuisen as their inventor. In the Netherlands, Stroop wafels are traditionally consumed with tea or coffee, and it is a custom to place a cookie on top of the cup and let it steam for a few minutes, so that the cookie is heated and the syrupy layer softens. We reached the last three. Number 3, Speculas. Speculas are spiced cookies that are popular throughout Belgium, Germany, and the Netherlands. With an intense fragrance of cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and ginger, the cookies are traditionally baked on the eve of St. Nicholas Day, celebrated on December 5th and December 6th. Today, the cookies are not reserved only for the St. Nicholas Day or for Christmas, but are available the whole year round, ideally paired with a cup of hot tea or coffee. Number 2. Poffertjes 
Poffertjes are small, round, and puffy Dutch pancakes made with yeast and buckwheat flour. They are baked in a special pan called Poffertjespen and usually served warm on a piece of cardboard paper when prepared outdoors at festivals and outdoor events. During the Christmas and New Year period, poffertjes can be found throughout Dutch streets at numerous street carts. It is believed that poffertjes have roots in a Dutch abbey, where they were used as a type of communion host. When the churchgoers tasted the small pancakes and liked them, poffertjes became very popular, so local stallholders seized the opportunity and started selling them as snacks. Finally number one of Dutch desserts. A peltart. A peltart is a traditional Dutch apple pie that is very often accompanied by a cup of hot coffee. Although it is essentially the same as most apple pies, Dutch appeltart differs from the classic American apple pie in many ways, it is baked in a springform pan, making it deeper, it is drier on the interior, it is full of big chunks of apple, currants, and raisins, and it is full of speculous spices such as cinnamon, lemon juice, and other warm spices. This traditional dessert is one of the first pies that the young people learn to prepare in the Netherlands, but it is believed that the best ones are made by grandmas. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. Hey guys! Today we want to get acquainted with Top 10 Most Popular Mexican Beverages, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. Number 10, Corona. Corona is the most popular Mexican beer and of the best known beers worldwide. This golden colored, refreshing beer is often categorized as a light American style lager. It has a crisp and a subtly sweet malty flavor. Although Corona is rarely lauded for its quality, it customarily appears on the lists of top selling beer brands. This beer got a somewhat bad reputation during the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, and the brand could not escape the inevitable association with the epidemic. Number 9, Kahlua. This award-winning Mexican coffee liqueur was first introduced in 1936. It was created in Veracruz and was named Kahlua, which in ancient Veracruz Nahuatl language means the house of the Akalua people. Rum-based Kahlua is a full-bodied liqueur with enticing flavor and aromas of roasted coffee beans and hints of vanilla and caramel. It is a mainstay in bars across the world, and though it works great on its own, preferably served on the rocks, it is mostly used in cocktails, out of which the most popular are white Russian, espresso martini, and a layered B-52 shot. Because of its sweetness, it is also a great complement to desserts. Number 8, Micheleta. Micheleta is a Mexican beer-based cocktail with a spicy kick. Since it is easily adaptable to different tastes and preferences, Micheleta can be prepared in a variety of ways with beer as a base, and the addition of lime juice, salt, and assorted spices, hot sauces, and peppers. Due to its spiciness, it is often used as a hangover cure. The variety prepared with clam and tomato juice is known as clamato, while the version with Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, chili, and salt goes under the name Cubana. Number 7, Rompope. Latin American version of eggnog goes under the name Rompope. The drink is based on a combination of rum or brandy, milk, sugar, and egg yolks, while the additions may include nuts and typically vanilla flavoring, nutmeg, or cinnamon. It is believed that the first version of Rompope was created in Puebla by the Santa Clara nuns, sometime in the 1600s. Following its origin, the drink has spread throughout Latin America, resulting in numerous regional versions. Rompope can be served lukewarm, heated, or on the rocks, and it is usually enjoyed all year round, traditionally on various special occasions. Number 6, Atoll. Atoll is a thick, corn-based drink native to Mexico and Central America, where it is consumed as a breakfast drink or sipped in the evening after dinner. It can be made from cornmeal, cornstarch, or masa arena, a type of flour used in traditional Mexican cooking. Atoll is traditionally sweetened with pilloncillo, a thick, crystalline syrup made from cane juice, 
but brown sugar, white sugar, or honey and can also be used as well as fruit, atoll de sabor, chocolate, champarado, nuts, vanilla, cinnamon, and seeds to add extra flavor. Number 5, Aguas Frescas. Aguas Frescas is a light non-alcoholic beverage made with a combination of fruits, cucumbers, flowers, seeds, and cereals blended with sugar and water. The name translates to fresh water, and it is often sold at bodegas and eateries throughout Central America, Mexico, and the Caribbean, but it can also be found in Mexican cafes and taquerias throughout USA. Aguas frescas come in a variety of flavors such as guava, mango, orange, cucumber, lemon, and tamarind, among others. The beverage is most commonly consumed in the summer months, served cold with pieces of fruit and ice. Number 4, Mezcal. This smoky Mexican spirit is produced from agaves that are grown throughout the country, but the main territory of mezcal production is in Oaxaca. Mezcal is traditionally prepared with agave hearts that are roasted in earthen pits and are then crushed to a pulp, which would later be distilled. According to age, they are categorized as joven, reposado, anejo, and extra anejo. Mezcals have similar taste profile as tequila, but are slightly smokier and earthier, with hints of floral or ash aromas. In the 1950s, the spirit was infamous for red or golden worms that were found inside the bottles, but were only a marketing strategy and do not have any effects on the drink. High-quality, artisanal mezcals have recently been promoted into a fine sipping drink, but they also incorporate well in a variety of complex cocktails. Number 3, Liquado. Liquado is a Mexican blended beverage consisting of milk, fresh fruit, and ice. The drink is popular throughout Latin America, where it is also known as Petito. The beverage gained fame in the USA during the immigration period in the 1990s. Liquado, which means blended or liquefied, may also contain nuts, honey, and spices such as vanilla, cloves, or cinnamon, while in some varieties fruit can be replaced with chocolate. Due to its nutritive value, Liquado is considered a quintessential breakfast food providing energy for the day, and it is usually served in a tall glass garnished with fruit. Number 2, Margarita. Probably the most famous tequila-based cocktail in the world, margarita, is made with a combination of Cointreau, lime juice, and tequila. The cocktail can be made in a few varieties, straight up, chilled with ice, then strained, frozen margarita, with blended ice, or on the rocks, over ice. Regardless of the style, it is usually served in a margarita glass characterized by its rim which is rubbed with lime or lemon, then spun in salt or sugar. Some say that the inventor of the cocktail is Carlos Danny Herrera, who supposedly created it in 1938 in Mexico for Marjorie King, a dancer who was allergic to almost every spirit except tequila, although others claim that it was named after Margarita Cancino, also known as the famous actress Rita Hayworth. Finally the best popular Mexican drink. Number 1, Tequila. This strong spirit originated in a small city of tequila and was modeled on mezcal. The highly prized, original tequila varieties are made exclusively from fermented juices of Blue Weber agaves, while other categories known as mixto must be distilled from a base that includes at least 51% of Blue Agave juices. Officially, tequila must be made in a designated region of Mexico. If aged, tequila is usually kept in oak barrels, and the process has considerable influence on the final fragrance and flavor. As the maturation period lengthens, tequila takes on spicy notes but becomes more mellow and elegant. Tequila was greatly popularized with the invention of margarita in the 1940s. However, its popularity soared when it was promoted as a youth drink, which was served as a shot, typically accompanied by salt and lemon or lime wedges. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. Hey guys! Welcome to Food Picks Kitchen. As we all know breakfast is the most important meal. Today we want to get acquainted with 100 of the best and most exciting breakfasts in the world.
In each video we get acquainted with 10 exciting breakfasts. So stay with me until the end of this video. Number 100, Magdalenas from Spain. Score, 4 from 5. Magdalenas are sweet, light, and fluffy Spanish cakes that are typically made with a combination of eggs, sugar, butter, flour, baking powder, milk, and lemon zest or vanilla essence for flavoring. Visually, Magdalenas are quite similar to muffins. In Spain, they are most commonly consumed for breakfast with a cup of coffee. In the past, these small treats were traditionally baked for holidays and birthdays, but nowadays they can be found throughout Spain, in supermarkets and bakeries. Number 99. Yumurtali Pide from Turkey. Score, 4 from 5. The Turkish egg-topped flatbread filled with cheese, pepper, and tomato, known as Yumurtali Pide hails from the Kayseri region in Middle Anatolia where locals sometimes also use another Anatolian delicacy as a topping for this type of pide bread, thinly sliced, spice-coated, and dry-cured beef called pasturma. Yumurtali Pide is made with soft, chewy, oval-shaped pita dough, like most traditional Turkish pita breads, and other regional pizza-like foods. For the perfect Yumurtali Pide, the egg is cracked in the middle of each bread only minutes before the end of baking. Beloved throughout the country, this is one of the ultimate Turkish breakfast dishes, but it is also widely available as a snack at numerous bakeries and street stalls. Number 98, Boyuos from Turkey again. Score, 4 from 5. Boyuos is a Turkish pastry that was brought over to the country by Sephardic Jewish immigrants from Spain in the late 15th century. Nowadays, it is prepared exclusively in Izmir, following the original recipe. The pastry is made with flour, sunflower oil, and tahini. Tahini increases the nutrient value of boyuos, but it also makes the dough rise in layers. Boyuos is additionally filled with ingredients such as cheese, meat, olives, artichokes, or spinach. Traditionally, this flavorful pastry is served as an essential part of breakfast, when it is accompanied by hard-boiled eggs sprinkled with black pepper and a glass of Turkish tea. Number 97, Pollock Painter from India. Score, 4 from 5. Pollock Painer is a popular Indian vegetarian dish made with painter cheese in a rich, thick sauce consisting of pureed spinach mixed with tomatoes, garam masala, garlic, and numerous spices. The key ingredients are even mentioned in the name of the dish, since Pollock means spinach in Hindi, and Painer refers to the cheese. Pollock Painer has roots in the Punjabi region, but there are also other variations of the dish throughout India. It is a highly nutritious meal that can be consumed either for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, accompanied by rice or Indian flatbreads such as naan and roti. Number 96, Pan Con Tomate from Spain. Score, 4 from 5. The classic Catalan invention known as Pan Con Tomate consists of toasted slices of bread that are sprinkled with salt, rubbed with tomatoes, and drizzled with olive oil. The dish is usually consumed for breakfast or served before a big meal, as a tapas, or for merienda. There is also a Mallorcan version called Pambali Amtomatiga, but it's additionally topped with capers and black olives. Number 95. Paino Raisin from France. Score, 4 from 5. Paino raisin or escargot is a French spiral-shaped pastry made with a combination of leavened buttery dough or sweetened bread dough, raisins, and creme patisserie. Once filled, this sweet treat is baked until its edges become slightly golden. Paino raisin is traditionally served in the morning for breakfast, although it is also sometimes enjoyed throughout the day with cafe latte or black coffee. Number 94. American Pancakes from United States of America. Score, 4 from 5. I thought this breakfast should be one of the top 10, but it ranks 94th. American pancakes are made from a thick batter consisting of eggs, flour, milk, and baking powder. Additionally, fruits such as apples, strawberries, and blueberries can also be added to the batter, along with buttermilk or chocolate chips. When served, they are usually stacked on top of each other, 
then topped with a variety of ingredients such as butter, maple syrup, fruit jam, honey, whipped cream, or peanut butter. American pancakes are often served for breakfast in the United States of America and Canada, and are sometimes accompanied by fried eggs, bacon, or sausages. In America, there are a few varieties of pancakes, and the most popular ones are Johnny cakes made from fried cornmeal and silver dollar pancakes that's smaller than regular pancakes. Number 93. Himono from Japan. Score, 4 from 5. I'm a fan of seafood, but I can't imagine this food for breakfast. The Japanese term himono encompasses various types of dried fish products. It is usually prepared with smaller fish varieties such as mackerel or sardines, which are typically butterflied, cleaned, occasionally marinated, and then sun-dried or refrigerated. The technique grew out as a preservation method that enabled longer shelf life. In the past, salt was mainly used as a preservative, but modern-day varieties mostly use it as a seasoning. When dried, the fish can be stored or eaten immediately, when it is usually grilled and brushed with a flavorful soy-based sauce. Himono is typically served for breakfast and lunch or as a late-night snack at popular izakaya eateries. It is usually paired with rice and soy sauce. Number 92. Biscuits and Gravy from United States of America. Score, 4.1 from 5. A popular breakfast dish throughout the United States of America, especially in the southern parts of the country. Biscuits and gravy consists of tender dough biscuits that are covered in a thick gravy, usually made from the drippings of pork sausages, flour, and milk. Although the word biscuit usually refers to twice-baked bread, the American version of a biscuit is more reminiscent of a European scone. The dish originated in the South just after the Revolutionary War, before the United States was even a country. It was invented due to the fact that the supplies were scarce, and the breakfast meal had to be as inexpensive as possible. It's easy to see why biscuits and gravy is so loved it illustrates the southern theme of a simple life and brings the familiarity and nostalgia of a traditional family breakfast. Number 91, Arepa de Huevo from Colombia. Score, 4.2 from 5. This is the last breakfast in this part, and I think it is one of the most exciting breakfasts. Arepa de Huevo is a popular Colombian dish that is commonly sold at street stalls, especially in the Caribbean parts of Colombia. Corn arepas are filled with eggs, then fried until the eggs are fully cooked. They are often served for breakfast, but also make for a nice afternoon snack when paired with a cup of coffee on the side. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. I will be back soon with the next video of the best breakfasts in the world. Hey guys! Welcome to Food Picks Kitchen. This is the part 2 of 100 of the best and most exciting breakfasts in the world. In each video we get acquainted with 10 exciting breakfasts. And in this video, we review the ranks 90 to 81. So stay with me until the end of this video. Number 90, Manakish from Lebanon. Score, 4.1 from 5. Manakish is a favorite Lebanese breakfast, a round, flat bread that is typically topped with olive oil and zotter sesame seeds, thyme, and sumac, then baked in the oven. Other toppings might include cheese, minced lamb, spinach, or fried eggplants. Although it is sometimes affectionately called Lebanese pizza, it is a recent addition to the Lebanese culinary heritage, but it quickly became one of the most popular dishes due to its flavors, low price, and the ease of preparation. Manakish is often associated with being food for the poor, but it is enjoyed by all classes of society. It is recommended to pair it with tomatoes, cucumbers, yogurt cheese, or a cup of hot tea. Number 89, Oladi from Russia. Score, 4.1 from 5. 
Small, but packed with flavor, the batter for these famous Russian pancakes differs from those for traditional pancakes as it is prepared with kefir, a fermented milk product with a slightly sour taste. Aside from kefir, the remaining ingredients for oladi are typical for any run-of-the-mill pancake, flour, sugar, salt, and eggs. They are pan-fried into small rounds, similar to American-style pancakes. The pancakes turn golden brown when finished, and they are chewy with crunchy edges. They are slightly sweet and neutral in flavor, while the kefir lends them a mild sour note. These small, thick pancakes can be served plain or with honey, chocolate, fresh fruit, sour cream, or a variety of fruit preserves. Fresh fruit and chocolate chips are also occasionally added to the batter. Oladi are a typical breakfast dish, and they are best served hot off the griddle while they are still fluffy and soft in the center and crunchy around the edges. Number 88. Appam from India. Score, 4.2 from 5. Appam is a popular Indian bowl-shaped pancake made from a batter of rice flour and coconut milk. Typically consumed for breakfast or dinner, appam is most popular in Tamil Nadu, Sri Lanka, and Kerala, where it is culturally linked to the Syrian Christians called the Nazranis, who bake appam on a stone. According to an American food writer and historian, Gil Marks, the pancake first appeared in the southern tip of India. Although not much is known about the history of appam, some also speculate that it originated from Jewish communities in India. Today, it is traditionally served with spicy condiments such as coconut milk curry. The pancakes can be filled with a variety of ingredients such as steamed eggs, chutneys, fish, meat, and vegetables. Appam is a popular street food item that is mostly consumed as a snack. Number 87, Pau de Deus from Portugal. Score, 4.1 from 5. Translated as the bread of God, this traditional Portuguese dessert is a combination of a soft brioche and a topping made with desiccated coconut and eggs. The dough is usually flavored with lemon zest, rum, or vanilla, and the buns are baked until the topping turns golden and crispy. These sweet rolls are eaten throughout the year and are commonly enjoyed for breakfast, but they are also associated with All Saints' Day and the old Portuguese custom known as Pau-Pordeus, in which children knock on doors reciting poetry and asking for sweets and candy. Number 86. Bolo da Arroz from Portugal. Score, 4.1 from 5. A staple in almost every Portuguese bakery, Bolo de Arroz is a light and airy rice cake characterized by its mild sweetness and a refreshing lemon flavor. Similar in shape to cupcakes or muffins, the cakes are usually made with a combination of rice and wheat flour, butter, milk, and eggs. A sprinkle of sugar before baking gives them a golden, caramelized crust. They can be enjoyed as a sweet breakfast or a light afternoon snack which perfectly pairs with milk, coffee, or tea. Number 85, Shakshuka from Tunisia. Score, 4.2 from 5. Shakshuka is a delicious combination of eggs poached in a spicy tomato sauce. Although it has an unusual name, the dish is straightforward and easy to make. It is usually made in a skillet in which onions, tomatoes, and spices are cooked until they form a delicious tomato sauce. Eggs are then added directly to the tomato sauce and poached until done. Merguez sausage can also be added to the dish. It is believed that shakshuka originated in Tunisia, but the dish is well known and commonly eaten throughout North Africa and the Middle East as well. Almost every region has formed their distinctive variety of shakshuka. In Egypt, eggs are usually scrambled and served in a sandwich, and in Israel it is often served with salty feta cheese on top. The consistency of the sauce and eggs is also variable. The sauce can be thinner or thicker, while the eggs can be completely firm or soft. Because it is budget-friendly, simple, and easy to prepare, the dish has recently gained popularity both in Europe and North America. Number 84. English Breakfast from England. Score, 4.1 from 5. Also known as the full breakfast, this traditional British dish appears everywhere with a few essentials and some regional additions. 
First, there is the meat, usually a combination of sausages and bacon. The sausage is plain pork sausage, while the bacon can be streaky or back bacon. Then there are vegetables and legumes, baked beans and tomatoes, both cooked over high heat. The balance of sweetness and acidity in the tomatoes nicely balances out the fattiness on the other side of the plate. Lastly, there is a crispy piece of fried bread and two or three over-easy eggs to tie the whole meal together. Alongside this hearty breakfast, you will usually find a cup of tea, ketchup or brown sauce, and a nice fruit jam. Optionally, black pudding, kidneys, mushrooms, and potatoes can be added to the fry-up, depending on personal taste and regional preferences. Number 83. Miso Soup from Japan. Score, 4.1 from 5. Miso soup is a traditional Japanese soy-based soup made from a stock called dashi miso paste and various additional ingredients such as seaweed or tofu. It is estimated that more than 70% of Japanese people consume the soup for breakfast, although it is commonly available at any time of the day. In Japanese restaurants in the United States, miso soup is often offered as an appetizer. The soup is thought to have medicinal properties, as it alkalizes the blood and revives the nervous system. The main ingredient is called miso a combination of rice, salt, water, and fermented soybeans, shaped into a paste that is similar to peanut butter in texture. Miso is centuries old, and its roots are in Chang'e fermented soybean paste invented in China by Buddhist priests more than 2,500 years ago. Since miso soup is relatively quick and easy to prepare, in Japan, there are even instant cups of the soup available in vending machines for a small amount of money, acting as a testament to the soup's enormous popularity. Number 82, Jianbing from China. Score, 4.2 from 5. A favorite breakfast item in China sold by numerous street food vendors early in the morning. Jianbing or fried pancake is a thin and savory crepe-like pancake that is made by spreading batter over a hot, cast-iron slab with a wooden paddle. The batter can be made with a variety of different flour, with the most common types being mung bean flour, black bean flour, and wheat flour. Always freshly prepared and warm, this fried pancake is usually topped with eggs, then flavored with various sauces such as chili sauce, poison sauce, or tianmianjiang sauce, and filled with ingredients such as spring onions, mustard pickles, radishes, scallions, cilantro, or even a protein such as Chinese sausage or chicken. A type of crispy fried dough sticks called guizi or strips of crispy wonton are traditionally added to the pancake filling for extra crunchiness. The variations on this dish are endless as are the ingredients that can be added inside the crepe wrapper. Number 81. Big Pao from China. Score, 4.2 from 5. We got to the last breakfast in this part. Big Pao is a variety of baozi, the famous Chinese steamed buns. Consisting of a soft delicate bun and a delicious savory filling, they are similar to other steamed bun types, but are usually larger in size. The pastry is made with yeasted dough, which develops a tender, springy texture when steamed. The filling is usually a delicious mixture of minced meat, mainly pork or chicken, shiitake mushrooms, and green onions, all doused in a fragrant sauce infused with soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. Some versions might include Chinese sausage, while quarters of hard-boiled eggs are a welcome addition, usually positioned inside or on top of the meat filling. Big pao buns are typically served as an afternoon snack or a hearty breakfast. They are mainly prepared at home or eaten as a takeaway meal, and similar varieties can be found in Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Taiwan. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. I will be back soon with the next video of the best breakfasts in the world. Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome to Food Picks Kitchen. This is the part 3 of 100 of the best and most exciting breakfasts in the world.
In each video we get acquainted with 10 exciting breakfasts. And in this video, we review the ranks 80 to 71. So stay with me until the end of this video. Number 80, Staka Miaga from Greece. Score, 4.2 from 5. Staka Miaga is a simple Cretan dish consisting of poached or fried eggs in local staka that is a type of buttery cream mixed with flour. The combination is usually seasoned with salt and pepper, and it is typically enjoyed warm for breakfast. Eggs with staka are often paired with smoked pork or another traditional Cretan product. Staka is a unique specialty of Cretan cuisine, and it can also be eaten as a spread on slices of bread, as a dip, or as a side dish. Number 79, Misal from India. Score, 4.3 from 5. Misal is a specialty dish of the Indian state of Maharashtra, its name literally translated to a mixture of everything, so the ingredients vary from cook to cook. However, a combination of these ingredients is the most common in a typical masal, curd, pav, moth bean or pea curry, gravy, spiced potatoes, and garnishings such as onions, coriander, and tomatoes. It is mandatory for a true masal to be spicy, while the base needs to be crunchy. Visually, it should look like a work of art, with lots of colors typically red, brown, orange, and green. Since it is highly nutritious, easy to prepare, and relatively inexpensive, it remains one of the most popular meals in India. Number 78, Pastas from Malta. Score, 4.3 from 5. Pastas is Malta's national snack, a flaky pastry filled with ingredients such as peas, ricotta, anchovies, corned beef, or apples. The thin dough is stretched and rolled with layers of fat in between, which is used to achieve the typical flaky texture of the finished product. The dough is then filled with any of the aforementioned ingredients, shaped into diamonds or semicircles, then baked until golden brown. Pastizi can be consumed as a snack or served as appetizers in bars. Number 77, Hauska from Czech Republic. Score, 4.2 from 5. Hauska is a popular Czech bread roll, simple and small in size. It is made with plain wheat flour, water, yeast, salt, and, occasionally, eggs. Before baking, it is usually braided and shaped into a plump circular form resembling a knot. The top is sprinkled with coarse sea salt and either caraway or poppy seeds. Baked Hauska is light in color, it has a crispy exterior and a light, soft center. The roll can be bought in most Czech supermarkets and bakeries. It is often consumed for breakfast when it is served alongside a variety of sweet and savory spreads, butter, or marmalade. The name Hauska might also refer to another type of bread that is sweet, rich, and filled with raisins, candied fruit, and almonds, typically served for Christmas and Easter. It is more similar to hala or brioche and was originally named Vananajka. Number 76, Amaletta from Greece. Score, 4.2 from 5. Although both dishes have a similar name, Greek amaletta is nothing like the French omelette, but is instead more like a frittata. The dish consists of fried potatoes, eggs, and vegetables such as bell peppers. The combination of these ingredients is baked on both sides until the dish is ready for consumption. It is recommended to serve amaletta with sausages, lemon wedges, and a salad on the side. Number 75, Chouquet from France. Score, 4.2 from 5. When we talk about cooking, a Frenchman is always involved. Amazingly tender and extremely light, chouquettes are airy pot au choux pastry puffs studded with the so-called sucre pearl, coarse sugar crystals which hold both their shape and crunch when baked. Chouquettes are basically profiterole shells and fall into the category of viennoiseries or, more precisely, patisseries viennoise. These Viennese-style baked goods are found in bakery shops throughout the country and are traditionally consumed for breakfast or as an afternoon snack known as lookouter. Best enjoyed freshly baked while they're still perfectly puffed, golden, and crisp, chouquettes make for a great accompaniment to a nice cup of coffee or tea. Number 74, Jibanica from Serbia. Score, 4.2 from 5. 
Although it is a common sight in countries such as Croatia, Slovenia, and Macedonia, Jabanica is mainly associated with Serbia. It is a traditional pie-like dish that combines filo dough with a creamy combination of cheese and eggs. The most popular version of this versatile pie is popularly known as gazvara, meaning crumpled, in which the sheets of filo dough are soaked in a creamy mixture of fresh cow's cheese and eggs. The sheets are then layered and baked in the form of a casserole. This pie-like dish can be prepared in both sweet and savory versions, depending on the region and personal preferences. In Serbia, jabanica is usually paired with yogurt and makes a perfect breakfast staple or a filling snack. Served sliced, it is also a mainstay on every festive occasion when it is traditionally enjoyed as a cold appetizer. Number 73, Buknica from Croatia. Score, 4.2 from 5. Buknica is a comforting Croatian rolled pastry or strudel made with layers of thin dough that is filled with a combination of grated pumpkin, salt, fresh cheese, butter, sour cream, and eggs. The savory rolled pastry is baked in an oven until it develops a golden brown color on the exterior, and it is recommended to serve it warm with a dollop of sour cream. Buknica should always be well-baked and crispy, otherwise the filling will release the water and the pastry will lose its crispiness. It's especially popular in the summer as there is an abundance of young pumpkins which are ideal for the filling. Number 72, Gado Gado from Indonesia. Score, 4.2 from 5. Gado Gado is an Indonesian version of a mixed salad. It usually consists of a variety of vegetables, eggs, tempeh, and tofu. The vegetables are usually just slightly boiled, tossed with a nutty sauce, then completed with the addition of crispy prawn crackers. The sauce was traditionally made with cashews, but due to lower price and availability, peanuts are more frequent today. The dish is a true representative of Indonesian street food, and it has been present in the Indonesian culture since the 16th century. It originated among the native people of Jakarta, but today it can be found in all parts of Indonesia. Gado gado can be a whole dish on its own, but it can also be boosted by the addition of rice, rice crackers, or chicken. This classic Indonesian street food is usually sold by street vendors or at hawker centers, and it can be served for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Number 71, Tamagoyki from Japan. Score, 4.2 from 5. We finally got to the last breakfast of this part. Tamagoyki is a Japanese omelette dish made by using a unique cooking method the eggs are folded into themselves until they are fully cooked. Although the omelette has no fillings, it is usually seasoned with sugar, mirin, and soy sauce. Tamagoyki can often be found in bento boxes, and it is traditionally served either for breakfast or as a sushi topping. The name of the dish can be literally translated to eggs cooked over dry heat. The simple tamagoyki first became popular in the 1950s, when the government started to encourage parents to give more protein to their children, and the farmers started to keep more chickens. Today, tamagoyki can also be found in numerous shopping malls or in soba restaurants. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. I will be back soon with the next video of the best breakfasts in the world. Hey guys, welcome to Food Picks Kitchen. This is the part 4 of 100 of the best and most exciting breakfasts in the world. In each video we get acquainted with 10 exciting breakfasts. And in this video, we review the rank 70 to 61. So stay with me until the end of this video. And don't forget that if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and comment for us. Number 70, Rakiki from Poland. Score, 4.2 from 5. A mix between classic American pancakes and thin crepes, fluffy rakiki are an authentic Polish dessert. They are traditionally made with apples, but the plain varieties are also quite popular. Eggs, milk or buttermilk, sugar, and yeast or baking powder create the basic thick mix for these classic pancakes. 
Before serving, they are usually sprinkled with plain or powdered sugar. Although rakiki are especially popular as a dessert, they can often be served as a sweet breakfast or as a snack. These pancakes can be eaten plain or accompanied by a cup of warm milk. Occasionally, apples can be substituted with other fruit, such as bananas and pears, while a dollop of whipped cream is often served on the side. Number 69, Cat Mare from Turkey. Score, 4.2 from 5. Cat Mare is what most locals start their day with, in fact, there are bakeries and cafes in Gaziantep open from early morning until noon serving cat mare for breakfast. Traditionally, it is also the first meal eaten by newlyweds after their first wedding night, as it represents the sweetness they hope to find in their marriage. Filled with pistachios and kamak, that is the Turkish clotted cream made with water buffalo milk, these flaky, crunchy pastries must be served fresh from the oven, while they're still warm. For a perfect Turkish breakfast, have your cat mare drizzled with a little honey, sprinkled with crushed pistachios, and paired with a nice cup of tea. Number 68, Chana Masala from India. Score, 4.1 from 5. A specialty of North India, Chana Masala, is a tangy chickpea curry that is commonly consumed as a snack, main meal, or breakfast. Arguably, it is the most popular vegetarian dish in India, commonly found on railway platforms, at work, in school canteens, or at ceremonies and festive occasions in India and Pakistan. Chickpeas are simmered in a combination of spices and herbs, often served with rice or Indian flatbreads such as roti or naan, then garnished with a dollop of yogurt or sour cream. Due to chana masala's popularity, there are also regional versions of the dish, such as the Pakistani version called a luchol, made with chickpeas and potatoes. Number 67, Eggs Benedict from United States of America. Score, 4.2 from 5. Eggs Benedict is a breakfast or brunch meal consisting of toasted halves of an English muffin that are topped with a slice of ham or bacon, a poached egg, and sauce hollandaise. Although there are numerous theories about the origin of the dish, most people agree that credit should be given to Delmonico's restaurant. It is believed that Delmonico's chef named Charles Ranhofer invented the dish in 1860s for a customer named Mrs. Legrand Benedict, who wanted to eat something new. Ranhofer even published the recipe in his cookbook, The Epicurean, published in 1894. Regardless of the inventor, eggs Benedict are nowadays found throughout the world, in numerous variations such as eggs Mornay, Florentine, Blanchard, Buzard, and Cochon. Number 66, Arepa from Venezuela. Score, 4.2 from 5. Arepa is a highly versatile cornbread made from ground corn dough or pre-cooked corn flour. It is commonly consumed in Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. In Venezuela, arepa is eaten at any time of the day, throughout the whole country, and across all socioeconomic groups. The golden discs with a crispy, brown crust are commonly stuffed with a variety of ingredients, and the combinations are seemingly infinite, from beans, cheese, and avocado to shredded beef and onions. For a Venezuelan breakfast, arepas are traditionally paired with a cup of strong coffee and hot dipping chocolate. Since they are not filled with anything for breakfast, they are commonly referred to as the viuda that means widow. The name arepa comes from the word arepa, which is the indigenous word for this corn bread, as its origins are believed to be from the indigenous tribes across Venezuela, such as Timotoquicas, Arawak, Carib, and Carina. Number 65, Guzlima from Turkey. Score, 4.2 from 5. Guzlima is a Turkish flatbread consisting of flour, water, yeast, olive oil, and yogurt, which prevents the flatbread from going too brittle. 
The dough is filled with ingredients such as meat, vegetables, eggs, various cheeses, or mushrooms, and is then baked on a sack griddle. Originally, Goose Lima was served for breakfast or as a light afternoon snack, but today it has a status of popular fast food that can be found throughout the country's restaurants, food carts, and cafes. Number 64, Empanadas from Spain. Score, 4.2 from 5. Empanadas are likely to have originated from Galicia, Spain, where they were prepared as a portable and filling meal for working people, providing energy and nutrients needed for a day of hard labor. Baked and fried until golden, they are usually filled with a variety of spiced meats and vegetables, depending on regional preferences. In Mexico, cornmeal flour and manila, that is a spicy combination of chilies, olives, capers, and shark meat, is the most popular filling. In Chile, it is clams, mussels, and scallops, and in Bolivia, the filling consists of potatoes and eggs. Spain is famous for its empanada galega, filled with a stew-like combination of pork or tuna and peppers. However, Argentina is considered by many to be the best place for empanada lovers worldwide, and they can be found everywhere, from street food carts and local bakeries to fancy restaurants. Number 63, Boric from Turkey. Score, 4.2 from 5. Although many countries have their own versions of this satisfying dish, it was probably invented during the Ottoman Empire in the Anatolian provinces, an area that nowadays belongs to Turkey. Some sources suggest that Boric might be even older, a descendant of the Eastern Roman, Byzantine, Anatolian dish known as Enteritis Placantas, consisting of layered dough filled with cheese, its recipe dating back to 160 BC. Nowadays, Turkey is famous for its layered pies and pastries, all united under the name Boric, also Burek, Bayarek, Bayrek, Boregi. Regardless of many Boric varieties, Yufka always remains the same, and almost everything wrapped in it may be called Boric, which could also explain the name. Some suggest that it comes from the Turkish word bur, meaning to twist. Number 62, Pancakes with Maple Syrup from Canada. Score, 4.2 from 5. Pancakes are traditionally consumed across North America and Canada, made from a starchy batter, eggs, milk, and butter. Their origin is probably German, with the traditional Plankachen recipe being brought by German immigrants who settled in the United States in the 18th and 19th centuries. The pancake has a similar appearance and flavor as the French crepe, but differs in diameter and thickness. The thickness is achieved by the use of a leavening agent, either baking soda or nutritional yeast. American and Canadian pancakes are typically served for breakfast, in a pile, topped with maple syrup and butter. In Canada, the syrup must be made exclusively from maple sap and must contain at least 66% sugar. Pancakes with maple syrup are a Canadian staple, a light, fluffy and sweet delight that can be found on virtually every street corner throughout Canada. Number 61, Churros from Spain. Score, 4.2 from 5. Elongated, crispy, crunchy and intensely fragrant, churros consist of deep-fried yeast dough encrusted with sugar. Although some may argue against consuming these sweet treats, warning others about the dangerous effects of sugar and fat on human bodies, the popularity of churros throughout the world doesn't seem to wane. Originally invented by Spanish shepherds, who could easily cook them in a pan over an open fire, today these unusually shaped, cinnamon sugar sprinkled twists are most commonly eaten in Spain and Latin America as a hot breakfast food, accompanied by a strong cup of coffee or a cup of thick hot chocolate. Their characteristical shape is achieved by pressing the dough through plastic tubes, so it emerges on the other side in thin, ridged ropes. Although churros are a Madrid specialty, the ones found in Seville are often praised because they differ in a lighter and more delicate texture. In Cuba, they may be filled with guava, in Mexico with dulce de leche, and in Uruguay with cheese. 
Regardless of the varieties, churros are an indulgence that must be tried at least once. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. I will be back soon with the next video of the best breakfasts in the world. Hey guys, welcome to the Foodpix channel. Today we want to review 10 of the best Ukrainian food together, but before we begin, I want to say a few words to those who started the war in Ukraine. This video was made for a nation that stands unarmed against one of the largest armies in the world, but our hope and love will always be with the Ukrainian nation. And we hope it will end as soon as possible. Number 10, Pasca. Score, 4.0. The traditional Ukrainian pasca is a sweet and fragrant Easter bread. This popular delicacy abounds in eggs and butter and typically has a tall cylindrical shape with a rounded top. It is often enriched with citrus juice or zest, vanilla, rum, ginger, and occasionally saffron. Some varieties of pasca also might include raisins, candied fruit, or maraschino cherries. In the past, the surface of the bread was commonly decorated with festive ornaments, usually roses or crosses, but modern versions are often brightened with pristine egg white glaze, colorful sprinkles, or poppy seeds. Number 9, Banash. Score, 4.1. Traditionally prepared over an open fire, this velvety Ukrainian corn porridge originated in the Carpathian Highlands. It consists of corn flour cooked in a mixture of sour cream and brinza cheese. In the past, it was associated exclusively with the Hutzel minority, where the task of preparing the dish was reserved for men. Today, the dish is an indispensable part of traditional Ukrainian cuisine, and it is commonly consumed throughout the country. Found on menus of most traditional restaurants, it usually comes served with fried bacon bits, crumbled brinza, mushroom sauce, or crispy cracklings. Number 8, Bublik. Score, 4.2. Bublik is a name that is commonly used in Eastern European countries, predominantly Ukraine, when referring to a round, yeasted bun, in many ways similar to a bagel. Before baking, it is shortly poached in water and dusted with poppy seeds, sesame, or sugar. It is believed that Bublik was created among the Jewish population in Tsarist Russia, but got its present form in Ukraine. It was originally sold from street carts, where it was lined on a string and offered to the customers. Bublik is typically consumed as a snack or as an accompaniment to coffee or tea. Number 7, Borscht. Score, 4.1. The iconic borscht is probably the most famous Ukrainian dish. This simple soup is made with meat or bone stock, sautéed vegetables and fermented beetroot juice. There are many versions, and the choice of vegetables varies from region to region. However, the essential ingredients like beetroot and fermented beetroot juice are mandatory. They give the dish a unique red color and provide the sweet and sour flavors. Number 6, Parapichka. Score, 4.4. Parapichka is an iconic Ukrainian street food item consisting of a soft, not overly seasoned sausage that is enclosed within yeasted dough. The whole combination is deep fried, and it is usually served piping hot without any condiments. The first version of this favorite key of street food appeared in 1981 at a small kiosk on Bodon Khmelnytsky Street. Parapichka was an instant success, and this hole-in-the-wall food outlet became somewhat of an institution for both locals and tourists. Number 5, Diruni. Score, 4.4. Diruni are classic Ukrainian potato pancakes made with finely grated potatoes, onions, eggs, flour, and sour cream. Once prepared, the batter is fried in a pan, resulting in small pancakes with a soft and moist interior and a slightly brown exterior. Diruni are traditionally served hot, paired with a dollop of sour cream. There are many versions of these pancakes, with added ingredients such as ground meat, mushrooms, or cabbage. Number 4. Chicken Kiev. 
Score 4.4. Chicken Kiev consists of a bone, flattened chicken breast that is rolled around chilled herb butter, breaded, then fried. Although the dish is very popular, no one knows where it came from or how it got its name, and there are numerous contradicting theories attributing its invention to Ukrainian, Russian, and French chefs. It was at the height of its popularity in the 1970s, but quickly fell out of favor in the late 1980s with the rise of Nouvelle Cuisine. Interestingly, in Soviet hotels' tourist brochures, guests were warned of the dangers of splattering themselves with hot butter. Number 3, Kiev Sky Tort. Score, 4.5. Kiev Sky Tort is a traditional cake originating from Kiev. Instead of common sponge cake, Kiev Sky Tort contains a nutty meringue with a crunchy and airy texture, a technique which was created in 1956 at the Karl Marx Confectionery Factory. Although walnuts were initially used for the meringue, they were later replaced with cashews and then hazelnuts. The layers of nutty meringue are combined with a sweet vanilla and chocolate buttercream. The cake is usually sprinkled with chopped hazelnuts and left to cool before serving, so that the cream develops a silky, mousse-like texture. Number 2, Pampushka. Score, 4.5. Pampushki are small Ukrainian yeasted buns. They can be prepared in sweet or savory versions. The dough usually consists of milk, flour, eggs, sugar, butter, yeast, oil, and salt, and it is then shaped into small balls. The sweet version is often stuffed with ingredients such as fruit jam, berries, fresh fruit, or cottage cheese, while the savory ones have no filling, but are traditionally flavored with garlic sauce and served alongside borscht. Number 1, Vereniki. Score, 4.5. Originating from the historical region of Red Ruthenia, these soft, crescent-shaped dumplings are filled with a combination of potatoes and cheese, which is occasionally modified with various seasonings or fried onions. Pierogi Ruski are usually boiled and shortly fried until they develop a crispy texture. The dumplings are often served sprinkled with cracklings, crispy fried onions, or bacon, and can be enjoyed as a hearty appetizer or as a main course. In Ukraine, the pyragus are called Vereniki, and they are so popular that there is even a monument celebrating Vereniki in the city of Cherkasy. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. And again, I hope that war will end everywhere and peace will be established. I'll see you soon in the next video.